Hello my brothers and sisters of the Order, I am Templar and welcome back to another Blade Review. Now, for this Blade Review, I'm actually going to be covering something out of which I was wanting to buy a while back and which uh, I have been looking for for a long while to replace my uh, William Wallace Claymore, if none of y'all know. My William Wallace Claymore technically broke through the handle area, which, yeah, I don't know why, because this was a battle-ready sword and apparently uh, it's... Uh, Let's just say some guy who actually made it did not do it properly making. Anyways, enough of that. How about I get right to the blade, shall we? <laughs> yeah, a great sword. <laughs> not just any great sword, but a Gallo Glass great sword. I wanted to buy this for a while now, and I finally got one, or uh, bought one from Cult of Athena. Now, uh, the reason I bought it from Cult of Athena, in fact, I was wanting, uh, well... Uh, Highlander Imports to uh, probably put this in their um, website and such to, for y'all to buy because in truth you gotta know this it's really awesome and technically this is a Celtic style weapon and of which this is an Irish style weapon in truth in general and as well I don't know Highlander Imports because uh, in truth I if no y'all know them I will leave a link down below for y'all if none y'all understand if which they then talk about them there as well anyways. I kind of uh, was chatting with uh, the guys from Highlander Imports and asked them if I could, well, uh, introduce them this type of weapon and such into their uh, site. So, in doing so, I'm still waiting for his uh, their answers to it. Hopefully they reply yes, because I would like to see them have these type of weapons on there for y'all, because this, this screams Celtic, if you think about it. It screams Highland Warrior. Because, technically, this is a Highland weapon. This was used by the Gallo Glass. Now, here's the thing. The Depica did a very great job at manufacturing this sword. Yes, this is made by Depica. Depica, if none of you don't understand, uh, tries their best at making historical accurate weapons as possible. This uh, sword is technically around, I want to say, 54 inches, uh, 54 and a half inches overall length. And as well, its blade is somewhere between 41 and 6 eighths of a blade inch. So, yeah, and for, that's really cool. Now, it comes blunt, so I might need to sharpen it. Now, you can sharpen it on Colbertina if you want to. Me, I'd rather do it my way, otherwise I don't want them to damage it in some way. Now, uh, when it came into the mail this morning, today, uh... Where it was a slight problem, I don't know if y'all can see that, let's see if the camera can focus on it. The blade got slightly dented due to shipping, which you can't trust shipping nowadays. So, yeah. Now, uh, also with its weight, it, it actually is around 6, uh, six pounds and 5.8 ounces, which is really cool. So that's actually surprisingly light. Now, the pommel is actually pinged, literally, this is pinged right in there, in which that is really cool because most swords I see are either tethered, if you don't even understand what tethered means, it means that they're, it's just a screw-on, which I'm not a big fan of because those kind of uh, make the sword more fragile, I guess it's a good example. Its uh, grip is technically around uh, 8 and 5 eighths inches. So that's a really good grip design, which this is made from leather and a will. There's even a wooden uh, base underneath this, which now I guess they might even include the steel as a grip, but I don't know because <laughs> that might be a little weird. Now, also with its thickness, it's 5 to 4.7 millimeters, which that's actually really cool. Now, this actually does have something really cool. It even has really cool fullers. Now, if y'all know, know what a fuller is, a fuller is this little channel groove in here that makes the sword lighter. In doing so, this actually makes it very light. Now, uh, many of y'all might wonder, what is the Gallo Glass? What is a Gallo Glass Warrior? Well, in truth, a Gallo Glass is a type of mercenary. And yes, these were mercenary warriors from Scotland slash Ireland, I could say, and in which they actually, one way you could tell this is an Irish style sword is because of this. This is an Irish ring pommel, which 
kudos to Topeka for this historical accuracy because they would have actually had this circular design motion with this, well, this would actually save on metal, meaning I don't need to waste as much metal on this that when I need to dress as a sword. Now, the really cool part about the Galagas Greatsword or any type of Irish style sword would be this, the little forks on the end. How many of you might wonder, Templar, why are the forks cool? Uh, kind of obvious. Think, for example, say someone comes at me with their weapon, and here's the thing, I can easily hook the weapon, take it away from them, and in the process, my blade can then come down on them. So that's really awesome. Now, uh, the point of balance is somewhere between 9 and 1 8 so let's see if I can, so, so technically, somewhere around here. Now, this thing is really badass heavy duty. Now, these forks can also prove another thing, especially gouging out the eyes. In fact, it's even been stated in the history books that the Galloglass had done this in order to blind their opponent. Now, I don't know how that could be done, but I do know one thing. If you were to do a murder blow strike with this, this really would hurt. Now, uh, most of the blade you'll have to technically sharpen, unless you get to the rest, like, technically about here, which you do not want to, because this way you can grab onto the blade, like such, for more control. <laughs> Which, this is really cool, because this thing is light, but yet effective. Now, I still feel as though I should do an Italian grip on it, but I feel like I don't need to anymore, because this thing just... <laughs> you see my point. I love the Gallo Glass for one big reason. In fact, these are technically of Celtic mercenaries, and which, yeah, as you can see in these images and such. Now, uh, if now you don't understand, I technically was one, one day hoping that Deadliest Warrior would have actually put the Galglash up against the Lanch Connect, and which I was hoping they would have done that, but they never did, which was a big uh, disappointment to me, because in truth, that would have been mercenary versus mercenary, and in truth, they were technically med late medieval and such, so technically both of them would have seen gunpowder. But the main reason I love the look of the Gallo Glass, because look at this. The Gallo Glass looks like a warrior from the ancient times of medieval period. He has a battle axe, he has a sword, <laughs> he's technically dressed in mail and a Norman knight helmet most of the time. Now, if now you don't understand by my videos, uh, yes, when it comes to my videos, I try my best to do an armor up video, because, and I actually give you all pointers on what I'm going to dress up next as. But uh, technically I was wanting to do that very soon. Problem is, uh, the bassinet I bought was supposed to be for the gallo glass, and the problem is, that damn thing was way too damn small, so now I still have to look for a new one. So yeah, uh, but yeah, still. Now, another cool thing about this, it even has this, uh, well, reinforcement design into the type of grip. And now you'll see this little butt, as it's called, it's technically holding the sword in place somewhat. Now, these are not screws in the blade. These are actually a type of uh, what they call a uh, hurricane hue, or hurricane screw, as it's known as. Now, what is a hurricane screw? It's technically a type of rivet, if you think about it. It technically keeps the sword from, well, wobbling. In other words, it doesn't do, well, the type of wobble in the blade. But yeah, it's technically extremely strong. So yeah, the blade is extremely awesome still. Now, I really do like this. In fact, I do plan on probably being buried and sent to Valhalla with this weapon. Because this is a great sword, damn it, and this is a perfect one at that. Now, yes, this sword has been used in the film uh, or series of Game of Thrones with the mountain, I think it was. So, yeah, I got the something the mountain would have probably held onto, except I got a real one while he used the fake ass one. <laughs> Anyways, this is perfect for Celtic style warfare or Scottish military who use these things, in which I hear many of you already, Templar, why didn't you just buy a Claymore? Uh, in truth, I wanted to, but I like the straight design crossguard. I'm not a big fan of the Highland design version when it's just does the weird uh, angle. I don't know why I'm just like that. But in truth, this sword is perfect for any of y'all that are interested in Gallo Glass, Scottish, or Irish history. And as which, 
if you want to buy it, I will leave links down below as well to Highlander Imports and as well to groups that are overseas. I will leave links for y'all that are which are in foreign countries like such as the Netherlands, Australia, France, and Greece and such. All my viewers that of which actually are overseas or here in the United States and such. So that way you can get your hands on this weapon. In truth, <laughs> I know one person in Australia who probably would be crazy enough to get an Irish sword like this. That's right, you crazy bastard, I'm talking about you! <laughs> because, in truth, I uh, technically put his uh, <laughs> his image uh, up here once. Uh, so yeah, I put it up here again, dude. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, I just, I'm the, because every time and now I actually get uh, some uh, mentions through uh, Facebook. Uh, I get uh, notifications, like some messages, calling him the golden hair. The Golden Helms Kelt. <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of a good one, actually. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, in truth, I do love this sword, and I hope y'all will too. Anyways, guys, like and subscribe. Also, help to help the channel go extremely well. Also, share this video with your friends, and as well, also even check out our Facebook, so that way you can actually be stay tuned of a next upcoming weapon like this. In truth. I hope y'all will actually stay tuned for the next upcoming uh, Armor Up videos or including even our history videos and including even our other few Blade videos. Yes, uh, if none of you understand, I pretty much either buy my weapons for myself either during because of Christmas or because of my birthday. Yes, it was technically on July 9th and such, but yeah. Anyways guys, hopefully you like this video and hopefully y'all can actually see and hold a weapon like this yourselves because the truth, this thing is beyond awesome. Because, let's be honest, wouldn't you want something like this? Because this just feels awesome. Anyways guys, hopefully you like this, like and subscribe and all that jazz and hope to see y'all in the next one. Anyways guys, have a great day and take care. Mm -hmm.